on Portrait Artists of the Year on the 12th of February, 8 o'clock on Sky Arts. Yes. Now, if you're going to watch that show, well, you will love this next film. Because for the first time on telly, we can reveal a secret masterpiece by one of the greatest mm. artists that ever lived. He was probably the most famous artist of all time, Leonardo da Vinci, born in 1452, is as much known for his scientific drawings as he is for his intricate paintings. Mona Lisa and The Last Supper have inspired generations of artists, including me. So you can imagine my excitement when I heard that 500 years after his death, modern science is revealing hidden details in his artwork. I've come to Windsor Castle to meet Martin Clayton, who looks after the 550 original Leonardo drawings and manuscripts that are held in the Royal Collection. So here we have one of Leonardo's drawings. That's one of the amazing water studies. Done so around 1510, where he's investigating the fall of water into a pool and trying to understand the motion of water. He actually right. touched this. Of course, this is the sheet of paper that oh, he was wow. working on 500 and some years ago. I mean, essentially, he was using paper as his laboratory, as his way of thinking. It's simply amazing. I love the detail. It's the sheer variety of pictures in this collection that make it so important. And they were all found in Leonardo's studio after his death in 1519. So this is one of the deluge drawings that Leonardo did right at the end of his life, showing a massive tempest overwhelming the Earth, these great waves sweeping out. It's an extraordinary vision of destruction. Pure genius. But this picture hides a fascinating secret. Martin's research revealed a surprising discovery when he shone an infrared light on the deluge. So there's another drawing underneath. Yeah, this is Leonardo's underdrawing in black chalk. What you're seeing here are his first thoughts. I love it. The camera is seen through the finished drawing and revealing Leonardo's early workings underneath. To conduct further tests, Martin went to the Diamond Light Source Research Centre near Oxford. For centuries, experts had assumed this was a blank piece of paper. But testing back in the 1950s with ultraviolet light had produced a surprising result. Whoa! It's one of Leonardo's most beautiful drawings oh. and would be famous were it not just a blank sheet of paper in visible light. The question was, why had it faded? Pencils as we know them didn't exist when Leonardo made these drawings. He used a metal point like this to scratch into a specially prepared paper coated with ground animal bone. So why had some of Leonardo's sketches become invisible when others had not? To get the answer, the page of drawings was examined using the very latest technology, a synchrotron. The synchrotron acts as a powerful X-ray that shines a million times brighter than the sun. The results it produces can single out the composition of individual elements on the page. Right, so what we're seeing here are good spikes for copper and zinc. It seems that Leonardo must have been using a copper drawing instrument for these drawings, and that's why the drawings have faded to invisibility. Leonardo would have used both silver and copper metal points, and a genius though he was, how could he know that copper fades over time? It's only now we understand exactly why Leonardo's drawing disappeared. It's very, very exciting. It's one of the great breakthroughs in understanding Leonardo's drawings in recent years. I'm really curious to see what technology will have to reveal about one of my paintings. This is my attempt to picture the great man himself, and I want to know if the infrared light can detect anything below my thick layers of acrylic paint. I mean, it's revealing everything. Even the false lines. I mean, I did that one and it wasn't straight, and everything's just showing. Modern science is decoding Da Vinci, but I'm not so sure I want it decoding me. <laughs>
That was fascinating, wasn't it? That was. Uh, thanks to Adabanji there. The Leonardo da Vinci, A Life in Drawing exhibition. It yeah. starts today. Uh, featured 144 of his greatest drawings from the Royal Collection. Yeah, and it's all around the country. So, no excuse. You can go mm -hmm. and see it wherever you are. There you are. There we go. Um, now, while we're looking